This is my sixth take. Um, if I'm talking oddly or slurring my words, um, that's the anomic aphasia is kicking in. And I'm currently talking like Elon Musk. Uh, so, uh, that's the only thing we have in common. I mean, he needs rockets. I have the usual penis thing, so I don't need rockets. This is to announce my next adventure with Lola the dog. We are going to pack up the 1957 Westerner camper and go park next to Rio Chama and spend a month, four and a half weeks more or less. And I am going to write. I'm going to work on my second memoir. Uh, so far, what I've written is pretty damn good. I say so. You know, other people I've sent s samples to, and they say, you know, it's just as good as the first one. And then I would have to ask them, of course, well, what did you think of the first one? Because, anyhow. And we will have adventures along the way. Uh, across the river, there's uh, wilderness. So maybe we will wander in the wilderness for a while. I will have 18 gallons of fresh drinking water and I will bathe with river water. Uh, it's better than no bathing at all. I will strain the, wa the river water through a bath towel or something to get some of the grit out and that'll be good. I was also thinking uh, maybe I will try cannabis for the first time. That's right, the first time. And see what happens to me. Uh, as an experiment, I guess. Uh, I'm not going to ask my mental health care provider, you know, may I or may I not. Um, because he might say, don't do it. And maybe I'll videotape that. Perhaps that will be fun. Perhaps that will be goddamn pathetic and everybody will feel sorry for me. Uh, we will see. So I'll show you what is going on here. I have plenty of firewood. The trick is knowing how much to take. Most of this is oak. So I went and got some pine wood and some cotton tree wood. So this is for cooking over and keeping warm. Mobile techs. Canned ham trailers, period, com. Anybody who wants to know how to rebuild or repair a ham, canned ham trailer should talk to him. This is a 1957 Westerner. And this is the firewood I'm taking. I have kindling in the trash bin. Photovoltaic panels. Let's see. I like these hockey puck lights. You can even dim them. Why the fuck is it not dimming? I don't know. I have my groceries underneath the bunk. I have pasta, spices, refrigerated, no, <sighs> refried beans, pinto, and pickles, and pasta sauce, and juice, and a large package of pancake mix. There's some veggie shit in there also. I don't know. That's one gallon can of pineapple. Hmm. I plan on making nice hot spicy chili. So I have two cans of jalapeno peppers. Hang. I put in uh, uh, shelving here in the closet. 
that I can put um, more shit in there. This is, of course, I'm taking the Haynes solar cooker and there's a solar shower bag. I'm going to shower with river water and I'm going to make videos of that. Um, I made the table extra large so that I can write on it with my computer shit. The propane stove works perfectly. Burners and oven. And of course, I'm going to be making pizza. So pizza tin comes. Usually when I'm eating pizza, uh, dog Lola will sit there and watch me and then eventually whimper a little bit and then bark a little bit and then growl a little bit and then leap for my throat and take my pizza away. Pressure cooker. To save propane by cooking better faster. These dinner plates have anti-skid pads for them. I'm bringing the steamer for the broccoli. And I put broccoli in my chili uh, with beans, so some people would think that rather odd. That's a box of chocolate drink mix, 60 packets. Anyhow, I'm going to probably leave uh, tomorrow, perhaps. Of course, I have pepper sauce, sriracha, and I have 12 bottles of that. I have to have 12 bottles of Cholula. Uh, anyhow. Uh, and down below, I have electronic metering stuff. The white box is a propane sniffer. If it sniffs propane, it sets off an alarm. And that gives me the battery health and whatever things going on. That, of course, is a power inverter so that I can plug my computer in. And that is a charge controller so that the battery doesn't overcharge. I think we're pretty much ready to go. Oh, I have bricks that I'll put in the fire pit like that. And then after the oak goes to coals, I'll put some coals in there between them and put a saucepan over there to cook with. So, I think we're ready to go.